Hello and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ. Coming up on this week's show, we speak to Canadian international Connor Braid, who's back at Scotland on a short-term deal. We catch up with young scrum half Ali Price. And we're inside the Scotland camp, ahead of this weekend's Game with Wales. This week we caught up with BT Sport Scottish Rugby Academy Stage 3 player Ali Price to get to know the scrum half a little bit better. Ali Price, 21, Kingsland, I see the scrum half, of a new beginning. Uh, Smiler. Uh, when I was 6, West Norfolk Rugby Club. Um, probably John Olomu because he ran over a lot of boys and I try and do the same even though I'm tiny. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm really pleased for him. It's great to see him getting his opportunity. I uh, lived with him all last year. Um, great guy, really easy to get on with and um, yeah, I'm really tough for him. Um, well, recently George took me to the pool hall by Central Station, that was quite quite good, a little bit of pool. Um, I don't mind sort of going downtown, Main Street, um, been to see a few of the Brayhead clan games, so I've seen a, seen a few ice hockey games. Um, yeah, well coming back from uh, my injury I tended to get a bit of strapping on my knee and I've still got a little bit left um, that, I, that I do around the bottom. Um, I don't know whether physiotherapy wise it does anything, but for me anyway, just mentally, it's a mental thing. Helps me play. So, Connor, you're back at Glasgow Warriors. Tell us about your time at London Scottish. Yeah, it was really good. Um, yeah, we're sitting at third in the league at the moment. Had a tough loss to Bristol on the weekend, but I think moving forward in the playoffs there. A beatable team. Um, yeah, no, it's been really good. It's nice to get quality game time week in, week out. So playing 80s almost every week, I think. So it's a physical league. It's tough. It's gritty. It's definitely forward dominated. But it's you know it's a really good team, really good group of guys. Um, but then again, I started here in Glasgow, so it's good to see this group again and get back in the mix. You know, people make Glasgow. It's true. I think it's you know just got genuine, genuinely good people and and uh, people are genuinely interested in how you're doing. So uh, yeah, it's it's. A lot more like Canada, uh, I found, than, than London has been for me. But either either or, they're both good cities, and I'm just happy to be back in, in Glasgow and, and playing with the boys. The focus is now firmly in the Pro 12. We've got two crucial games coming up against Zebri and then Ospreys at home. You must be really excited to be a part of those two games coming up. Yeah, they're really excited. Um, the nice thing is, I don't think they'd, they'd bring me back unless there was a good chance of playing. So, um, yeah, really excited. Good to see the boys again. Uh, get back in the mix, it's definitely. I still have uh, you know all the Scottish plays in my head. I kind of have to get back into the uh, the defensive structures, the attacking structures that we have here at Glasgow. So um, yeah, just looking forward uh, to the week. You know, a nice long week. We play Sunday, so just hoping to be involved this weekend and, and get the hard work done this week. A new uncovered 1,649 old seater East Stand will place a standing tennis for our next three home games against the Ospreys, Zebrae and Cardiff Blues. Two pitch side standing locations will also be introduced in the southeast and northwest corners of the stadium. Tickets are available now for all three games from GlasgowWarriors.org. You're the light, you're the night, you're the colour of my blood. Um, kind of mixed feelings to be honest. Um, as you say, the boys did put in a, a really good shift. Um, attack was fairly good at times. The defence was outstanding, and um, you know, to to come away with a defeat, you know, the boys are pretty disappointed with that. But the beauty of this competition is, you know, next game week you get a chance to make amends, and you know the boys are massively excited to. To get back here at BT Murrayfield. Are you putting about 96 is it, meters that you made in uh, most of the whole six nations? Must be things like that. Yeah, it kind of opened up at times for me, so uh, yeah, I couldn't, uh, couldn't really complain about that. But um, you know, at the end of the day, I wasn't able to convert any in, into points. But uh, no, overall, I was fairly happy. But at the end of the day, it's, it's a team performance, and you know, we just came up short, unfortunately. How much are you looking forward to the Wales game? I'm oh, massively excited. Um, a great challenge for us to, to get back on board and 
um, you know, put ourselves in a great position to, to win the Six Nations. You know, after watching the, the Welsh game at the weekend, you know they're a, a massive physical side, and um, but you know our, our defence is fairly strong, and you know the boys are ready to front up and, and take them on. And the national stuff aside, you've got your club rugby still going on. You've got guys are going to Italy on Sunday. What's your message to the guys on for Sunday? I think you know what I've heard. They've had a, a really good training week and stuff, and the boys are enjoying um, you know getting a big game time. So. No, hopefully the boys can go across and put in a good shift and, and come away with a win. Uh, you know we're in a fantastic position at Glasgow, and you know um, these these few games over the Six Nations are vital for us. So hopefully we can keep winning and, and get ourselves right up the, the top of the table where we belong. Don't forget, Warriors HQ is available for free every Wednesday evening at 5 p.m. on Glasgow Warriors TV at YouTube.com/GlasgowWarriors.